Right, so here I am on Trayworth Farm, which is located on Bodmin Moor in Cornwall, UK. This is the site of the Bronze Age Sword Festival. This is the first roundhouse that was built on Trayworth Farm. You can see it has collapsed. Now this house here is the second one they built, and while you can see that it's in the process of collapse, it's also much more intact than the other one. Let's go and take a quick duck inside. The roof of this second house, as you can see, made of thatch. Got some moss growing on it. You can kind of see the inside. Sorry for the shake there. The inside of the abandoned roundhouse. Neil Burridge, the guy who's running Swordfest, thinks that we might be able to use this roundhouse in the future if we rebuild it. He has some exciting ideas on how to do that. Now we are coming to the roundhouse, which is the surviving and best constructed of the roundhouses. You can see how big this one is. Do a quick comparison to the other roundhouses here. So this one's truly a massive roundhouse. Again, with this roundhouse, you can see we have a thatched roof, some moss growing on it, and now we're going to duck inside. This is the interior of the large roundhouse. You can see we've got a central fire pit, got some leather clothes hanging out to dry, a lot of benches. If you look at the stone wall, upon which the roof rests. You can see that's being used for a lot of different storage out here. I'm sure it was used the same way in the Bronze Age. Unfortunately we have a lot of what I would consider very modern storage. The structure of the roundhouse is held up by very stout timbers. What's neat about that is that you've really got the ability to build a huge roundhouse. What's not so neat about that is the fact that as you try to build a community, a circle in the center, these posts break it up. One of Neil's ideas for the future involves a roundhouse that would not be broken up. But we'll see how that goes. That's definitely in the future.